Fora TV. The world is thinking. I feel like we were discussing the arrival of color television and rock and roll in the 1960s. <laughs> um, the fact of the matter is, I think people choose how they want to spend their time. There have been recent articles that, uh, that essentially say that children today, if they're not in school and not asleep, are online on some form of digital, mobile, or computing or gaming device. So we have no idea what the long-term thinks. I will tell you, since Google hires a lot of young people, I think the young people now are much more impressive than my generation was. So I think the, ag the aggregate output is better. <laughs> so without commenting, there's a lot of evidence, for example, that the teenage gaming, which most of us think is sort of crazy because it wasn't invented when we were young, in fact improves strategic reasoning, navigational reasoning, and it obviously improves hand-eye coordination. Um, so there are lots of reasons to think that technology has a positive effect. The, the one that I do worry about um, is the question of deep reading. Uh, as the world moves to this instantaneous device that literally is your online helper, or remembers everything, and knows where you are, knows where you're going, knows where friends are, it's your communications device, it's your uh, Wikipedia, et cetera, et cetera, it's all right there, you're going to fundamentally spend time, less time reading long form literature of one kind or another, books, magazines, and so forth. And that probably has an effect on cognition. It probably has an effect on reading, and no one knows what that does.